Dinarland highlights April 15, 2020. Militiaman, Gatfa. Article quote. It is better for the central bank to cancel the currency auction and install its local currency. According to the official, there are daily discussions to reach a roadmap that enables the country to maintain an acceptable exchange secret of the dinar against the dollar. In the coming days they are going to change from the CBI from getting dollars from the GOI, the merchants and private banks will get it directly from the GOI. The CBI will have no dollars. What they will have is a new currency to sell, effectively. The exchanges will sell dollars for legitimate use, that is travel, etc. The CBI will make money off the dinar. There will be no MCPs allowed in country for local use. That will require the dollar to be used for outside the country. So, for this reversal or pattern change is the big kahuna IMO. CBI is about to change the rate. Jeff. What, community member? MD 1978 is trying to tell you is that the end of March would be the end of the 2019 fiscal year and Iraq only has 30 days to show you the rate. So by the end of March, April Iraq has to show you the rate and make it public. I personally agree with MM 1978 100%. That encircles the weekend of April 25th to 26th that weekend. By having a lot of key things that would put stability in place for Iraq over the weekend of the 25th 26th we need to keep our eyes around that time period. That's when a lot of important things are happening. Frank 26, Gatfer. Donald Trump is just doing some amazing things. Who is he doing this with? The CBI. I think it's important that Donald Trump is the reason why you're reading a lot of CBI articles. Every day more than one. And they're all coming from where? That meeting that we told you about. 1. Stop the auctions. 2. No use of the American dollar. This is miraculous. This is powerful. 3. New small category notes. Coexist with the notes out right now. 4. New rate. The last six days we've had an avalanche of information from the CPI and all because of Donald Trump IMO. He's pushing it out. We told you this was going to happen just before they release all this information. It's about to be released and that's why they're giving you the information. You need the new rate before you get the new currency. You need the information before you get the new currency. You need the information before you even get the rate to get the new currency. Oh snap. That's what's going on right now. This is serious family. The auctions today are of a different way. The auctions of right now are not of today. Here's the key. These auctions are showing no cash transactions. Nothing physical. The auctions are all digital right now. When the auction come back with the American dollar it will be a different format for the American dollar and any foreign currency they use. Because there is a new currency that is about to come out for the citizens of Iraq. All of this is for the reinstatement process. This is another mechanism of the reinstatement process of their currency. What is going on right now is the auctions are keeping the American dollar out of the eyes of the citizens of Iraq because their eyes are about to be cast on a new currency for them. They don't see the American dollar anymore in order for preparation of the introduction of the new small category notes. Isn't this exciting this change is the key. Nathan. I would love the thought I'm gonna get three dollars this is phenomenal but I'm a realist too. I've been a party to real transactions. I appreciate people that operate in that manner who manage expectations. Under promise and over deliver type strategy. I'm a big proponent of that. I'm a realist. I know what I will be getting for my IQD. I've already been told. And it's nowhere near that. Now am I being set up to be screwed? Possibly. But I've accepted the terms and I'm comfortable with the terms. It's a very good return for me. I'm in the process of a deal. I know one US institution who bought IQD. Large amounts of it. I can't name the name but Wall Street. Be it a hedge fund or anything, there is not one example and I have tried to find out. Because don't you think if this thing was imminent and this thing was going to get returns, insiders in the banking and finance, don't you think that they would have at least off book holdings of IQD, I know of other entities outside of the US I've dealt with them financial entities and institutions except for that one exception I couldn't find one single financial institution, off book or otherwise that has bought IQD. There's a big disconnect. 
I'm very friendly with another high up fund manager one of the biggest ones in China. He told me whatever it is coming down the pipeline is the biggest financial paradigm shift the world has ever seen. Markets. The people are just now getting back into place in order to have a reset or RV. Does that mean it's coming? No. It means the banking centers are getting staffed again and prepared. One of the locations I talked with had supplies already in place last week. Masks, disinfectant sprays, gloves act. Another is getting them this week. So personally I am not looking for it at least later in the week. Tman 23. Let's just say that the good old USA is directly in charge of managing the cesspool, Iraq, right now. It's like the JG went with saying. It's our money and we need it now. Not waiting another 10 years. Kazmai is the choice now. And new currency will be introduced during midway into Ramadan in May. Adam Montana. Oil is currently under $20, WTI, which is unsustainable on many levels. The largest OPEC production cut in history was agreed to on Sunday, in an effort to get prices moving up again. The markets don't seem to be reflecting that yet, but I have no doubt that oil will go back up. Here's the bottom line. 1. The world isn't going to stop using oil. Not even COVID-19 can make that happen. 2. Oil will never be free. Period. End of story. That's all she wrote. Oil will never be free. With Iraq being in the top ranks of all oil producing slash selling slash exporting countries in the world, it has a lifeline that will never go away. Not in our lifetimes, anyway. Bruce, the big call. Via Wiser now. I do feel really good about where we are and what information we have received. President Trump had a date in mind for this to go, for this to happen. And I'll cut right to it and say that date was supposed to be by the 17th. But it really talked in terms of the 15th dot 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 everything is set for go and we did hear from our forex guy, that Iraq was looking at a new rate for their dinar, a new revalue dinar rate tomorrow, word, that is on the 15th so, they are positioned. We've have information from the World Bank, a couple other bank sources, that have reported that they believe, I am going to say they they have told us, that they are looking very strong on the 15th, word. I've also heard that it needs to go between tomorrow and Friday, word, fr Friday is a must have by the 17th I'm not calling it but that is what everything is pointing to. What we know is everybody is prepared. They are ready for us. I feel good about where we are. Iraqi Dinar Evaluation and Global Currency Reset News Dinar Chronicles Courtesy of Dinar Gurus